spot on performance tonight. Would you say we were robbed at the end with that offside decision? But we're away with a point tonight, and most importantly, a clean sheet as well. Delighted with a clean sheet. Delighted with a point. You know, it could have been a lot, lot better. You know, if, um, unfortunately, I think the, the linesman got it wrong. Um, we had players in an offside position, but as the ball came in, it certainly wasn't Matthew Ferguson who yeah. took in his took in the stride and smashed it into the corner of the net. I think it was a mistake. Um, it happens. It's a hard job, but yeah. it's disappointing because it was the last minute, and I think there was no there was no uh, comeback for Newry. Defensively, we played very well tonight, didn't we? I mean, we were organised. From from the the round the keeper or back four, you know, we knew um, that Newry possession wise boss a lot of games, mm. but we knew that. You know, so we, we just soaked it up. Yeah. Um, I think they had one half decent chance. You know, they, they hit the post. Yeah. Two of our boys left it for each other. But apart from that, you know, there's a couple of speculative sh shots from distance. We certainly had the better chances. A lot of confidence in the squad as well. I mean, especially the goalkeeper. He was very confident as well. As obviously from the back four, you see right across the park, the boys were playing with a lot of confidence today. Our shape again was, was superb, you know, and we kept the shape, which is even more important. You know, as I say, the fact is, if you, you don't concede goals, you don't lose games. You know, it's another point gained. Um, it's not, it's not um, uh, three points lost. It's another point gained that gets us closer to the teams above us. You know, because a lot of teams will come here and get absolutely nothing. Yeah. You know, so when you, as I say, you um, from from past matches and past experiences, it's always a tough, tough place to come. And four, four points from here this season in the last two games, Mets. Massive for us, especially where we are at the table. Yeah, well, we've, we've probably come here with um, so called better teams. You know, we've been sort of sitting second or third and played against uh, Newry and, and, you know, come away with nothing, you know. Yeah. But um, so it's always a hard place to come. They're, they're a really well organised team. They play good football. But we frustrated them tonight. You know, we'll, we'll, let them, we'll let them have it in their own half. And I think I'll tell you the truth, they actually run out of ideas. Yeah, I mean, that much time later, obviously, rest and recuperate. I choose United parts. It's going to be an hard test on Tuesday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they've a they've a tough one tomorrow away to Battle of Mallard. You know, so we've a, an extra day's rest. So we'll go there full of confidence. You know, we're yeah. we're, we're in good nick at the minute. As I say, even the two games we lost before the Knockbridge game, I thought we were outstanding. Yeah. So you know, there's there's not an awful lot wrong. We just need to keep going and keep believing. Finally, before you let you go, a couple of days left in the transfer. Will we see any more new faces coming in? Fingers crossed. I mean, we're 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 um, charging at every angle. Uh, had a couple of disappointments. This week and uh, last week, you know, but you know, we're still, we're still um, ed building and, and edging for that, that. Even, even one, we know what we're after, you know. So um, sometimes when you're patient, they, they come to your door. So fingers crossed.